even local people, I think, are, are a little bit leery about seafood now. And, and there's, there's been a question mark placed in people's minds about seafood. And so we're getting a lot more questions from our restaurant customers. Where's this from? Where are these shrimp from? Where's that fish from? We're serving fish from Ecuador, Panama, Florida, South America, the East Coast. So uh, we're finding product to serve. Um, and, and that's why I say the seafood availability issue is an important one, but it's not the most important. The most important thing is for our citizens uh, to be able to go to work. I feel very blessed because I can come to work every day. Um, we're losing money, but I can still come to work every day. Uh, we're seeing far fewer customers this June uh, and July than we did last summer. I think all the seafood that's being harvested right now is perfectly fine. It's safe to eat, it's being tested, and all that's good. My real concern is for the future. For the next several years, uh, there will be individuals with their families, and there's going to be corporations considering where to hold next year's conference or convention. And unfortunately, some of them are going to decide, you know what, I'm not so sure about New Orleans. Let's go to Las Vegas. So this is going to stay with us a long time. Uh, one night about a month ago, my wife and I were watching the news, and someone said that, you know, we're resilient here in New Orleans, in Louisiana, because of Katrina and all the things we've been through. And my wife broke down in tears, started crying. She said, I'm tired of being resilient. We've been through a lot here, man.